The shape we are looking at is a circle, or rather, it is a two-dimensional slice of a three-dimensional sphere. If we were to take this concept one step further, we could say that this three-dimensional sphere is a slice of a four-dimensional hypersphere. Although it appears that the ball has shrunk and disappeared, we are actually only looking at a different three-dimensional slice of a four-dimensional hypersphere. It may be difficult to imagine four-dimensional shapes, as our entire world and our entire pathetic lives are acted out in three dimensions. But I believe with a little practice and time, four dimensions can become intuitive. The rules and mathematics that govern physics and interactions in three dimensions can be extended to interactions in the fourth dimension. In our minds, it doesn't make very much sense. But for a computer, it's just like, hey, these are just more numbers. How you want me show numbers? I got shapes, lights, how you want the numbers? And we're like, I, how, one three-dimensional slice at a time, please. I believe that through interactions with computers, we can better our understanding of things previously impossible to understand. This is six games at the same time, much like a hypersphere is many spheres at the same time. I, I think it's starting to sink in, guys. I, I think I'm starting to get it. I'm close to a breakthrough. A, uh, a brain blast. Uh, a losing points rapidly. A Jimmy, I have negative 9,000 points. Good job. I, I am nearly a master of, of dimensions. You see, we are like this cat. Trap, trapped in three dimensions and stuck in this game, unable to progress further. And we are scared of falling bikes. We need to fix this computer so it can explain to us the fourth dimension. I took out the screws, but it's not, it's not opening. To anyone who can be bothered to listen, please send help. I feel the weight of my own mediocrity crushing me. It is like the air itself is fighting me. In the third dimension, we have to hide screws behind stickers. If we were fourth dimensional beings, we could just put the screw in the fourth dimension. Hey, we did it. We did it. And now we're stuck again. There are many rocks in our three spatial dimensions. So it would be fair to assume that there are rocks in other ones. This one was found by Spooky Boy. Get out of here. Here we go. Uh oh, extra dimensional jam alert. While this m appears to be a poorly drawn children's game about delivering mail to things, it is actually a potent metaphor that will help us understand extra spatial, spatial dimensions. You see, this is bath time, but it's also mail time. It was always mail time, we just couldn't see that it was mail time. This is some very potent art. Reach and clear! Get on the ground! It's mail time! Get on the ground! I found you! Come out with your mail delivered. Here we go. 
There we go. I am now free from the tiny confines of this game. I am now free to deliver mail to the skybox and I guess the ground here. Even as I plummet into nothingness, I will still deliver mail. And now a demonstration of my mastery over the fourth dimension. Excellent murder, Shane. Very good. Te textbook. Good murder, my dude. Murdered. Good murder. <laughs>